Ohio Dominican University has uh, not one but two cadaver labs on campus for use by the students. The cadaver lab we're currently in is uh, designated for uh, graduate students at Ohio Dominican University, including PA students. Right now we are in the cadaver lab for the undergraduate side here at ODU. The PA program will typically house about 10 cadavers, uh, and then on the undergraduate side we'll typically house about four cadavers. To even have a cadaver lab at the undergraduate side is something uh, that is very unique for a small liberal arts institution. In the PA school, there are approximately uh, four to five students per cadaver, and usually uh, per dissection, we have one or two uh, dissecting, uh, one or two helping with the dissection, and we switch roles as much as we can. And underneath there, you can see your sciatic nerve. There's no substitute for actually seeing these structures in the human body, the blood vessels, the nerves, the muscles, and actually getting your hands on them and feeling what they feel like. You can see the, where they start, where they end. Students typically will get in groups of four to five, uh, and they'll each dissect on a cadaver. Those cadavers then they'll actually be used um, to test them on. A lot of people I talk to in other undergrads don't actually have human cadavers they can work on. Actually doing it hands-on makes the experience a lot more worth it. I think it's a great opportunity that we have here at ODU to have the cadavers here. Um, it's great hands-on experience and a lot of us are going into the medical field. They'll actually go from a superficial dissection all the way through a deep dissection which is uh, removal of the organs, all the internal organs and uh, things like the vessels, the nerves and everything else. It's going to be invaluable for them long term. Each of these individuals uh, died for uh, different reasons and uh, different conditions, clinical conditions. So we were able to see that as well. Usually we're in here for about two hours dissecting um, different parts of the body that were assigned. I've actually had several students tell me that they came here because of the cadaver lab. I, I don't know the actual number, but it's less than 10% of PA programs have cadaver labs. That's a huge attractive piece for students coming to, to study here. We have great respect for the individuals that have donated their bodies. Um, that is portrayed to the students. The students then um, have a great deal of respect for these individuals that have donated their bodies to further their education. And there's definitely the emotional aspect for you. It's We are so grateful that these people are able to donate their body to science to help us learn. One thing we need to keep in mind is when we come in here that these are people and that we need to have the utmost respect for these people. Uh, it's a tremendous learning experience and one that from our students prior that have taken this course and that have gone on to professional or graduate school, um, it's been a tremendous benefit. What I've gotten back from them has it's made their experience there so much easier compared to students who have not had a cadaver-based human anatomy. It's so much better than just looking at a textbook. You're actually hands-on, doing it, being able to um, dissect all the muscles, all the veins, all the arteries, all the nerves, everything that we need to know, it's going to benefit us a lot. When you're actually working hands-on with human beings, you see the differences between uh, people, and nothing's ever 100% exact, like the textbook would explain it. You'll have very, very pretty pictures uh, that you'll see in, in a textbook or in an atlas, and then once you get to a cadaver, they might not look that pretty. You, you learn so much better having this hands-on component, and it give, you develop a lot of confidence. I think many of the students know already how valuable experience it was to work with cadavers, but I think they'll, they'll know even better once they're in the field and working on actual patients. We have great ventilation in here. We have good temperature control. We have uh, good uh, tables for use for the cadavers. It's a great facility uh, for the, the study of anatomy. It shows that uh, overall the school is committed to just delivering uh, top-notch education.